We're at the Rainbow Retro Thrift Store. It's taken a long time, but they finally had their grand opening. The whole space is about 2,000 square feet, an upgrade from their previous office, which was 100. And we got a special behind the scenes tour. Um, sometimes people come in to talk about like their coming out experience and the things that they've been through recently. And so we wanna have that space where people really feel like um, they can be themselves and um, where you know, they feel like, you know, they can share. Wickenhauser says Moose Jaw Pride decided to create an office space with a thrift store after hearing the idea from a lot of people. He says it's a place transgender people can feel comfortable shopping and somewhere everyone can walk right in. He says the store was meaningful to him and others to open. Sort of uh, realizing something of a dream that, uh, you know, we've only been working with Moose Jaw Pride in the last like five years or so and so uh, for us to go from not having an organization to having this um, visible presence on Main Street and to have a place where people can come for community um, and to be part of a community and to help um, build that community I think is really kind of amazing it's spectacular it's beyond what uh, any of us could have um, expected or imagined. One customer here was getting ready for a pride parade Bethany Boutelier says she appreciates having a place like Rainbow Retro. My wife and I just moved to this community, to Moose Jaw, and uh, I feel like it, uh, it's a great place to connect with some people who are like-minded, and um, yeah, it's been good. All funds from the store go to the LGBTQ community, whether for fundraising or events. And in the future, Moose Jaw Pride hopes to get more donations and to continue bringing issues to light. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Moose Jaw.